you guys. Well, Melbourne's done dusted. It's now Monday. Um, fresh back in Adelaide. Got back yesterday morning, bright and early. I've been sitting here since last night editing uh, my next vlog, the Arnold Classic. I trained at ABW, also trained at Doherty's Brunswick, which was an awesome leg session. If you're ever in Melbourne, I would seriously suggest you go over, you check out both of those gyms. ABW is just set up really, really amazing. Um, Doherty's has so many variations and so many machines, and it's such a big facility. Uh, kind of looks like gold gym on the inside. Yesterday got back, got picked up from the airport, went out, trained arms at Glenelg. Today I'm just shooting down back to Glenelg to train arms, and then I think I'm gonna jet off to the Solly because I haven't had a tan in a while, and I'm starting to feel quite yellow. Yes, yellow. Because I'm European and Australian, I find that if I don't tan, I go yellow. So check it out in my future vlogs, guys. you see my skin color. If I'm not being in, out in the sun for a while, I will look quite yellow. Feel free to give me shit. Whatever you see me out and about, you say something, you know, Jake, you need to get a tan, bro. It's, it's how it is. Anyway, so we're gonna get out here now. I'm just gonna smash back my fat burner. My pre-workout, I haven't decided what one I'm gonna have yet. Um, get out to the gym, the train, some back, and hopefully the camera doesn't die and I'll film the whole thing for you guys. See you out there, bang! Alright guys, so we're here. We are. Uh, Alright guys, so we are in the lift heading up to do some back. Um, favorite lift, wearing the red pants. Again, I wore them yesterday. I didn't shoot the video, but I thought I'd tell you guys because I'm honest like that. Let's get out there. Let's get in the back. Okay guys, so warm up's all done. Um, just in the studio, just about to start my first warm up movement. So today I've set out, uh, plotted a program for myself. So I've written this up, I've designed it. Um, today's back day, so we're gonna start with what, what I like to call vertical traction, which is, um, it's a hammer strength machine. One side's chest press, one side is a, um, a high centered um, back row, but we're gonna actually sit sideways and create a vertical traction because we actually activate our lat by a vertical traction rotation around and down like this. So whilst um, lat pull down is an awesome movement for a warm up, because lat pull down is an up and down movement, it doesn't really activate your lat as much as it should. So we're going to jump on the hammer strength versus traction machine. And yeah, let's do it. Hey guys, back session all wrapped up today. Uh, smashed it out, did like six exercises, recorded it all down in my phone. So I'll throw that up there. I'm still editing Arnold vlogs. This one will come out just after that. Hannah actually started in the vlog. Should we go see what Hannah's doing? Say goodbye, Hannah. Oh, good morning, guys. Well, what's happening? So it is Tuesday morning. Bright and early, um, about 6.30 in the morning. I'm just about to sync up with um, the one and only Billy Can. We're gonna train chest. Um, Billy's an awesome friend of mine. He's a UFE pro, so I'm not sure if you've ever heard of the UFE. The UFE is like uh, similar to a Mr. Olympia, held in Canada. He's a three-time reigning bodybuilding champion. Much knowledge on training, and he's just an all-around good bloke. So, he, I'm just waiting for him. I'm just about to mix up some pre-workouts, some intro workouts. Billy should be here in the next five or ten minutes. Probably shoot upstairs, we'll do some cardio, 
just put our heads down, we get stuck into it. I want to record a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to give you some insights into the workouts and the reasons why we're doing certain workouts the way we do. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Let's get into it. Six months later. What's up, bro? These are the ABW ones, bro. Oh, they're sick, man. Yeah, dude, these are like... I like them. They feel even better than the... Uh... Hey, Michelle, how are you? They feel even better than the... Um... The strong ones. They're cool, man. Yeah. I didn't even know who was making those. You don't have any free? No, I'm just going to it, bro. You had any coffee this morning? No coffee. No coffee. No coffee. No caffeine, nothing, no, no, caffeine. no stimulants. Oh. I, I had 200 milligrams, I had a hydro shred. I'm on a detox. <laughs> I'm just that a skinny me tea? Hey? Skinny me tea <laughs> detox? <laughs> Is that why you're looking so lean? Hey. I like the shirt, bro. It's cool, wait, wait. Say it. Fire. No, 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 no. Nice. I like the front though, turn around. Look at the last spread. I am the alpha. That's sick. That's just mad. so everybody knows when I'm in the gym. What's going on, guys? So, I just wanted to quickly explain. I'm not going to film myself doing much cardio anymore, so most of the videos are only going to have either like either going to be like this or have me talking about it prior. The reason we do the cross trainer for five minutes prior to every session is it's just a great way to get um, blood throwing, but blood flowing throughout your body before any exercise like chest, back, shoulders, or arms. The cross trainer is just a staple thing for a while for me. Um, when it comes to training legs, it's a bit different. When it comes to training legs, I jump more on the black for five or so minutes. Because that's going to really pump the blood throughout your quads and hamstrings, even into your glutes. Uh, Billy's just downstairs. He'll be up here soon. And then we're going to get stuck into this cardio, get it done, get downstairs, get it, and then uh, I'll shoot home to prep my food for the day. And then I've got to run out to the shop until about 3 o'clock. And then F45 tonight. So, yeah. Three. So this is our warm up, yeah? Yeah, so do cable flies, but also variate these. So do some press of them while you're doing them. Just move your whole chest, basically. You know, so you might do some wide ones, do some low ones. Do some yeah. Wide. Just get yourself moving a bit. Get the blood throughout the whole chest. So what are these bands here for? So we're going to put the bands on for extra resistance on a couple of different machines. Yeah. Um, just different different angles of the chest, so maybe some for incline, and we'll see what we go. All right, cool. The extra tension really gives you a hectic pump. It really, really stretches the fascia on the muscle. Yeah. 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 So you got that constant resistance on with the bands, don't you? Absolutely. The chest press, pillow, chest press. It's a way we can load up some weight without putting any pain on the joints or overloading yourself too much. Yep. But if you still put that heavy weight there to activate the central nervous system. Right, we got you. That's so it. That's really what activates your central nervous system, gets your fight or flight response active, is some heavy weight to get your body activated. <laughs> with our bums to the edge of the seat. So we're gonna sit with our bums to the edge of the seat so we target the top of the chest more because this is a shoulder press machine usually. Right, as long as you sit the right way. Innovation at its finest. So you sit down and then you move your bum right to the edge of the seat. Keep, keep your abdomen up tight, so you're yep. sagging in like this. Release 
summer. Alright, okay. So those two smaller bands make up the same as that one band. Alright. Silence, we must be mistaken